Welcome to another PlyGem YouTube video on, for the tips of installing vinyl siding. Thanks again for attending. We want to tell you what we're going to cover in this short little YouTube video. We're going to try to give you all the information you need on how to flash and install a standard corner post. Very important, inside and outside, they're the same application. So what we want you to remember is if you have a weather resistant barrier, you don't need to do this flashing technique. But if you're using foam sheathing like we are, we want to make sure that corner is completely covered and no water uh, gets into that area. So this is inside and outside. Eric has one option we're going to show you. You have two optional flashing. One of the ones you can use is, a, is actually roofing felt. 15 pound works very well. But the important thing here is whatever flashing you're going to use, it must be a minimum 20 inches wide, 10 on either side. That will keep water from infiltrating. So you'll just want to staple that up because you're going to put the corner uh, right on it after that. The second option is just as good. It's actually using aluminum trim coil. And again, you break it 20 inches wide at minimum. So you have 10 inches on both sides. And again, you're gonna staple that up just to make sure that it stays up there. And once that's stapled, you take your corner post. And we wanna go through the process of installing a corner post. Standard corner post, you're gonna do, put it onto the flashings, inside or outside. On the outside, you're gonna take your square to make sure that you get it at a 90 degree angle so it looks good. You may have to squeeze it or open it up. Once you hold the 90 degrees, then you go ahead and you nail that corner post. So Eric's just gonna put one nail to tack it up and we'll give you a close up because this nailing is very critical where it goes. On all vertical accessories and panels, you must nail in the top of the top slot on both sides. We'll show you a close up of that. But before we get there, Eric's gonna show you a shorter piece I want to make sure you see that when you put this corner post up, you want to make sure you leave a quarter inch gap at the top between that and the um, soffit receiver. That way the panel can grow up and down as Eric's showing you. So to make this work, now you're going to put the nail in the top of the top slot as he's showing you. Now we don't want to nail any nails tight. A lot of contractors do and you can't move the corner in an oil can. So you see there's about a 32nd of an inch gap. But that's very important that you nail it in the top of the top slot, both sides. And then, just like all accessories, don't nail it any more than about 10 or 12 inches. And the, all the other nails must be in the center so that that panel, that panel or corner post can move up and down. So that shows you how to put the nails in, how to flash the corner. And hopefully that helps you out, makes your corners look better. And thanks for viewing our video. And we want you to continue to look at the YouTube channel for more helpful PlyGem videos.